customized data templates for PDF output in Adobe FrameMaker. Generate richly formatted PDF outputs in Adobe FrameMaker with your own data maps. Use default templates or create your own templates to customize formatting. FrameMaker allows you to take a data map and publish it to multiple output formats, including PDF, using a Publish dialog. New performance enhancements make publishing to PDF up to five times faster, saving you time. The PDF output can be configured using templates that are stored in a settings file. Settings files can be created and reused to publish PDF with different formats or configurations. To begin, select File. Publish. A dialog opens. From here, you can generate a PDF document. These templates have pre-configured formats for headers, content and titles, paragraphs of text, tables, and other standard content you might create using DITA. Lists can be configured to have unique appearances according to their level of hierarchies. Tasks information, such as commands inside step information, can be automatically numbered. Every aspect of the look and feel of the PDF can be configured using FrameMaker. Once generated, you can view the output. Here we see the first page of the PDF output with a title, numbered headings, and other text. We see a page with a bulleted list, formatted with circles and dashes at various levels of indent. We also see a numbered list where each number is in black text. Let's go back to our files and find the default location for the FrameMaker templates. Across the top of the screen is the file path to the installation directory. In this location, we have an Output Templates folder where the default templates are located. This folder contains FrameMaker documents that support custom cover pages, tables of content, chapter pages, and more. These can be modified using FrameMaker tools, including the Paragraph Designer, Character Designer, custom master pages, and other FrameMaker properties. As a user, you should create and edit a copy of the output templates to protect the original files. You can copy the template files anywhere. For example, on your C drive, you might choose to create a My Templates folder. Once you've copied the templates, customize them. After customizing your templates, you can reference them and create a custom settings file. Back in FrameMaker, we see the same Publish dialog. Instead of opening the Settings file, we will create a new one. The Data Templates tab allows you to import any template or all templates from a folder. In this sample, there is a folder named My Templates that was created earlier on the local drive. This folder contains an Installation Manual Template folder as well as the customized User Guide. Let's select the User Guide. A dialog indicates the template has been successfully imported. Select OK, then select Save As and assign the settings file a new file name and location as needed. You can see we already have a file with the default template for the installation manual. Now let's create a new file for the user guide. Notice that the selected settings file in the Publish dialog now shows the file named userguides.sts. Double-click to regenerate the PDF. The PDF is generated based on the new settings and templates, and the content can be compared against our previous materials. Here, we can view the output of our customized template. On the cover page, the title is now blue, and the previously numbered headings and content have been moved to subsequent pages. The difference in the new template use is immediately noticeable. The newly generated PDF has another page of content based on the custom template. Here, the bullets and numbers in the lists have been reformatted with hollow bullets in contrast to the default template's original formatting. Compared to the previous default, you can see the change. When you need to change to a different template, the workflow is simple. Create custom templates, create a new settings file, and republish your content. It's easy to convert a DITA map to richly formatted PDF content in just a few clicks when you are using the power of Adobe FrameMaker.